are mating warthogs doing their business. Now we are all the way on Arethusa airstrip, so it should be quite nice and open. And there we go. There's our warthogs, buddy. I don't think you're quite getting it right at this stage. He seems like he's battling a little bit to try and actually get on top of the female. So hopefully at some stage he will sort himself out. <laughs> but there we go. You can see Piglet is very confused by all of this and you two are being naughty doing it in front of the kids. That's not very good at all. No bedroom manners whatsoever. <laughs> now, I was trying to find out how long the other day in camp and Jamie had mating dogs and so I was exactly how long they actually mate for and there's sort of mixed reviews some people say that the, this can go on for an, over an hour where he sits like this on top of her I can't see that happening though I mean it looks so uncomfortable now Piglet is getting involved as well Oof, this is not ideal this is not for family viewing that's for sure and how uncomfortable it must be for her in terms of having to support his weight you can see he's much bigger and bulkier than what she is so not easy at all and to have this kind of male latched onto the back of you can't be very fun. And it actually doesn't seem like he's doing anything. It seems like he's almost falling asleep on top of her, which is not ideal. Now, Sebastian, you did make me laugh because you said there's warthogs and you didn't want to say the, the mating word. Were you a bit shy, Sebastian? No, it's more like I wasn't actually sure if it was play fight. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Seb said he wasn't sure if it was dominance or play fighting or maybe it wasn't no, just a glimpse. Now we can see nicely sort of the differences one in size and two in how we sort of ID males and females. This is quite a nice example because you can see the female at the bottom much much smaller but also far more underdeveloped tusks and she lacks that sort of set of warts around the face area now I know James had a female the other day that did have that extra set of warts which is very interesting generally the females don't have it it's only the males that will have that wart just above the tusk you can see it sort of between the nose and the eye there's a protrusion on the male and that allows you to be able to see male and female so you can see it very very clearly between the two there oh no this is not ideal. Mm -hmm. I feel sorry for the little piglet, actually, because it looks very confused by this whole process. Wouldn't it? Yeah. It, I think piglet needs to go and find somewhere to go and graze while this all goes on. It honestly looks like he's fallen asleep on top there. His kind of front legs are splayed out and he's not really doing anything. Yeah. <laughs> so, Teresa, you say this is... <laughs> brings a new meaning to the term piggyback well yes there we go it's basically how it works out here <laughs> it's just that time of the year for the warthogs and so I suppose we just have to kind of grin and bear it and there's really not much the females can do about it what are you doing buddy now there are talented individuals and there are less talented individuals and this looks like one of the So, this might be a fine time for a one-word tweet as to what you would make of this whole situation. So, hashtag Safari Live, one word for this. So, Alara oh, Moore, you are saying that the baby is almost watching as if to say, are oh, you guys play fighting? And, well, yes, I... Poor baby, this is going to be scarred for life. It's going to see this and not know what's going on. Hopefully the baby doesn't now try and sort of get in on the action and jump on the male. That would be quite something for the books. Although it looks like it's now going to feed its way away from this horrid scene that is unfolding in front of its eyes. It's got a gash on his bum. Does he have a gash on his bum there as well? Maybe, uh... I wonder if she hasn't given it to him. Oh, have we got a dismount? I think we do. There we go, she's managed to wiggle her way free, which is probably very thankful for her, I would imagine. Oh, that's why. <laughs> Warthogs are putting on a fine show this morning. <laughs> it's just gone all pear-shaped. Not only have we got mating, she's now just lifted her tail and dropped a whole bunch of excrement at us. It's 
really not an ideal situation at all. Now Piglet's coming up just to mom just to be like, are you okay? Everything's fine, all good. Shaking it off. Yes, we're talking about you. Almost like the walk of shame, really. Unfortunately, it's an hour walk away. She doesn't seem too perturbed by it, though. I suppose it is natural, and that's the sort of way it goes. Male's also gone back to feeding. He's not too worried about life either. Pretty happy. But where's this gash? Do you see one? It's not um, mud. No, no, it's on the young one. On the young one? It's on this one. So, Riti, you're saying nature at its best? Well, yes. Well, or at its worst. I'm not quite sure just yet. Like I say, that's one of the more sort of comical displays of what I've seen. Now, Seb says it's got a big gash on it. Oh, look, it does have a big gash on its backside. Now, that must hurt kill this little piglet, but it's definitely going to be sore. And I wonder if maybe either the male could have caused that when he's trying to mate with this female. Sometimes male will get, will get quite feisty and sort of go at, at the young ones because it doesn't look like the claws of a predator that's grabbed that piglet. The sort of piglets if they'd been grabbed by a predator we would have seen claw marks rather than one big long gash that almost looks like a tusk from the male that might have inflicted that wound on this little one it doesn't look very nice at all shame poor baby we'll try to see if we can't get a little bit closer 